the lord is speaking to someone here that you are coming to the end of your season of training please listen to me there are many of you who inside and outside the call of god is upon your life and many of you for years now god has prohibited you from doing anything no programs no meetings you don't have him you don't have any ministerial title but you've been in the cave of adulam praying fasting building some of you are workers in church and while you are working in the ushering department say there is a strong apostolic and prophetic mantle that is it's been predestined over your life hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit it doesn't mean your training is over but you are about to step into what the bible calls your season of appearing i believe this with all my heart this may not be a word for everybody but there are people god has so dealt with you you have been through seasons of prunings some of you do not even understand the name of what has been happening between you and god lord what is the meaning of this when others are going forward he will tell you to wait when others are eating he will tell you to turn the plate upside down many of you may have been invited for ministrations and he prohibited you from going he said stay the kind of breed that i'm raising requires stature and power in the spirit if you go the way you are half baked you will be tired before the sun arises and so he's been dealing with you men and women different dimensions of ministry from the prophetic to the intercessory ministry to the ministry of prophetic psalmistry songs that are not just special numbers but are loud and honey what is the relationship between the prophetic and locust and wild honey he, he did not have a normal life it is a prize for greatness god would destabilize normalcy in your life you cannot be normal and anointed mm -mm. Mm -mm. hear what i'm saying i'm speaking to you by the spirit this 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 word will come like a tornado to your spirit man because god is beginning to tell you i am not raising you just for a city i am the kind of training is not just for your family oh saul i disguised you using the issue of um of your father's donkey missing but it's not about the donkey it's about an encounter with samuel to receive a mantle that will make you king one day there are many of you seated here there is a the, the the end time healing move you see this this healing ministry that our father spoke about some of them have gone to be with the lord now where do you think those mantles are those mantles don't go to heaven mantles don't leave earth to heaven those mantles have been trailing destinies some of you here men and women you may think you are somewhere locked up in mina but prophecy has been following you like a guided missile i'm telling you hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit you are stepping into seasons where there are certain anointings and mantles that will just rest upon your life regardless gender regardless earthly qualification because you see the way god qualifies men is not the way men qualify men i'm speaking to someone by the spirit for some of you when your season is over god will move you out of this city believe me he has prohibited you from moving every arrangement to go out has refused to work because his hand is upon you for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom i choose the way of the lord in the last few weeks have been even me myself i know that i'm coming to an end of a season in my life because there are things that god does there are there are certain activities of the spirit around the life of a man that can show you that you are coming to the end of a season a new dimension of glory a deeper level of consecration and power and sacrifice and a higher standard of dealing with the spirit this is how mighty men are made in the kingdom 
I came tonight more than just charging you. It's an impartation. I came to become a funnel that a, a kind of wine will rest upon someone that God will make sense to your staying awake this morning so that it will not just that be that you wasted, you wasted your time you came to, to watch, watch great people come to bless you in various ways you are immersed in a glory and whilst you are seated there in the midst of what I'm saying the Holy Ghost is going to be speaking to you pay attention to this because this is a word for you Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Rivers rivers of living water. He are he Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. He are he hallelujah before we continue i want you to pay 27 attention. there are 27 people the holy spirit is showing me the ministry of prophetic intercession there is a grace and oil coming on you now as i'm speaking god is going to be bringing you into that ministry dimensions of prophetic intercession the grace to fold onto the four horns of the altar and begin to pray not in the public view God will hide many of you in homes, in rooms, in places of retreat. 27 people, men and women together. I declare may that grace, whether you are inside, whether you are outside, may that man to rest upon your destiny. 27 people, prophetic intercession, the grace to intercede for nations. God will give you faces of individuals and you will stand to pray for them. Please help them. When I am alone, I am alone. When I am alone, I am alone. You are mighty on your throne. Kadosh. 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 You are mighty on your throne. You reign. You are just a Kadosh. 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 Break forth down fountains of the deep and we can't you are mighty on your own. You are mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. You are mighty in my life. Mighty in my life. Mighty in my life. I'm saying it again one last time 
many of you are at the bridge of an old season and a new one hear what i'm telling you i'm speaking to you by the spirit you have exhausted the grace that is upon your life you have encompassed that mountain long enough some of you god is going to begin to subject you through seasons of fasting and prayer because there is a new wine that needs to come upon your destiny for the journey that is ahead for the journey that is ahead for the journey that is ahead Hela masada kate bala katu siada Prophetic intercessors God is restoring the mantle of prayer over me now This is what I'm hearing There is a restoration of the mantle for prophetic intercession many of you here god is going to start calling you no name no nothing is not a ministry but it's a platform for genuine intercession and prayer there are men of god within your city and respectfully speaking god is challenging us to get to incorporate the ministry of prayer and take it seriously when the ministry of prayer is engaged with understanding it can produce power and might just help those under the anointing it's not time to bring them out now i came with a burden of the spirit upon us hmm. hallelujah